Guys, we are at 8.8k subs. What? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of overwhelmed. Uh, I love and appreciate every single fucking one of you guys. Sorry for my foul language, but I, I love you boys. I really do. I really do. Um, I don't even. Let's let's skip the sentimental stuff. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notification bell button so you know when I post, which is every day. Guys, I'm gonna see you in the video. Remember, road to 10k, huge giveaway at 10k, grind never stops. By the end of this week, we'll probably be at 9k. So, ooh. all right, people, all right, people, AGZ gang, yes, sir. Um, this. The video is basically just like everything that um, Update Three has to offer. Everything out there, everything you need to know about Update Three, the small details, fine details, um, things that people might have overlooked. Some of you guys haven't even played Update Three yet. I know a lot of you guys that can't play during weekdays, so you have to wait till like Friday night or the weekend to play. So this video, so you know. It kind of like up to scratch, up to date, and everything that's come. So, <clears throat> if you do not already know, new level cap is three twenty-five. Um, I did do a level guide video. Uh, new bounty is fifty k. No one really cares about bounty. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, I mean, I don't. I don't know if you do, but I don't. Uh, new game mode. We got the dungeon. Um, one hundred percent. 100%. So once you get to wave 25 and you beat it, if you get to wave 25 and you lose, it's not 100%. But if you get to wave 25, you're guaranteed a fruit. Guaranteed a fruit. To the MVP of the game, the person that does the most damage. Now, be wary of this. The reason you want to be wary of this is because if you go with randoms, you go, yeah, if you go with randoms, and you don't do the most damage, that guy's gonna get the fruit and he might just hog it to himself, you know? Um, also, you still need to be wary. Go with people you trust, even though they're in the crew. Just, yeah, even though they're in the crew, doesn't guarantee that they're gonna be fair with the fruit drops. You might drop, it might drop a Tory, you know? And um, that guy, just takes it, even though you claimed first fruit or you guys agreed on a specific order. Uh, there are always going to be people that look out for themselves before they look out for anyone else. So, again, just because they're a crew member doesn't mean they're not going to finesse you. Also, just because they're a friend doesn't mean they're going to finesse you. Go with people you trust. Emphasis on the word trust. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, skips entirely. Wait, skips entire um entire common fruit tier at wave fifty plus. Okay, so once you get to that wave fifty plus, no more common fruits, no suitcase, um, no bari, no bomb. Okay, all right, that's GG. So logias, zushi, tori, all of that at wave fifty plus. I'm assuming to even get to wave 50, you're going to need everybody with auto drops in the game because I'm max level and the highest I've gotten to is level 30, uh, wave 33. So, yeah, GG. It does give a lot of EXP too. So, there's that. Okay, so um, New Island, Elos Island is the event and the level guide. I do show the location. Then you got Marine Ford. Same thing I just said for Elo. Uh, nothing too great at Marine Ford. Elo's Island, you can farm the event drop, so that is good. Um, Demon Leg slash Diablo Jambe. Uh, da, 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 da. Puff has voice lines. Puff is very attractive. 
Uh, big pause. No, wait, that's not even big pause. So that's the f- yeah, no, yeah. Anyways, um, what else? She has voice lines, blah blah blah. Diablo Jambe does drain a whole bunch of stamina, so be wary. We have Z Sea Beast. Um, as usual, we found a nice way to farm it, and for you patched it. Jesus Christ, and now it's annoying to farm, but the drops are worth the grind. Uh, Captain Zane, aka Whitebeard, uh, trapped in a trapped in a pillar of ice. <laughs> um, Flame Admiral Zeki, Zeki, whatever you want to call him, he drops the item that you need in order to defrost um, Captain Zane. And every time you use that orb to defrost Zane, he, he will. I mean, the orb goes away, so that which means if you don't get the drops, you have to go feet, defeat him again. Uh, Slayer's Mask. This is all. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter the color; they all give the same stats. Um, these are CB drops. Everything highlighted there. CB drop Lantern of Hope. How do you get Lantern of Hope? You need to um, go into a dungeon and defeat the Pika bosses. Also, for Demon Leg, in order to get Demon Leg, you need to take a lot of burn damage. When you take a lot of burn damage, um, an item will just come into your inventory called Scorched Heart. And yeah, you need Scorched Heart. Um, I don't know if play you're able to take player damage. I'm not too sure. If it's just NPC damage or player damage, either way, if it is, but if it's both, that's really good. But I do know NPC. I was just randomly farming dungeon and I got it in my inventory. Um, yeah. So Lantern of Hope, Flame Scarf, and Ice Necklace all drop. Um, whilst you're doing dungeons, because yeah, um, Sea Beast Katana. That's also a Sea Beast drop. Sea Serpent's Core. It's basically Pokemon, um, but with Sea Beast. Uh, the cape is really good. Um, set plus 75 HP and plus 5 health regen. Uh, Marine's cape, not too sure of the stats. Zento, high damage, but very fucking slow. Very slow. Um, yeah, it's very slow. It's actually super slow. Um, Fire Essence, that's the item that I was talking about. You need to um, defrost um, Zane and Scorched Heart. Um, and that's what you, you need this item in order to get Diablo Jambe. Now, Easter events. These are all the new event drops. And yes, you can buy three of them with Robux. However... It doesn't matter if you can't afford the Robux. You can also farm it normally and get... That's why it's slash drop. And the other things, the free items here that you have to farm without Robux. There's only one new fruit this update, <coughs> which is Gora. And before I talk about that, there's something I need to say. Da, 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 da. Captain Zane, last boss drop for the first C. Do you guys know what that means? It means we're getting a new, we're getting a new world update four. Yes, update four, confirm new world. Spread that to your friends. Let everybody know. Yes, already <laughs> I'm about to do the biggest clickbait with that one. All right, so <laughs> what has been balanced slash patched? Uh, yeah, not everything is here. So, peak array nerfed. Um, also, the peak array nerf, from what I've seen, isn't even that deep. It's still fucking annoying. Um, also, you cannot turn your back to peak lunge and, and block anymore. It block breaks all, all the time now. So, peak, even though it got nerfed, has got a huge buff because... Turning around when someone uses Pika Lunge and not taking, um, and it not block breaking, it was a big thing. So now that it does that, that's, that's a, that's a huge W for Pika. Magu Hound no longer block breaks. Now, a lot of people thought Magu Hound was just gonna, everyone thought Magu Hound's block break was gonna get swapped with Magu Fist block break. However, this 
is sadly not the case. And yeah, Magu Hound, Magu just does more damage. So Magu does more damage now, but doesn't have a block break on Magu Hound or Magu Fist. Um, which means Magu only has two block breaks, his ultimate move and its eruption. And yeah, you guys know how that goes. So, Magu, mm, uh, Zushi, pull range nerf, thank the lord, and Gravity Frenzy, pull range nerf, thank the lord. Um, Zushi was, Zushi in the, at the middle of update 2 started to deteriorate in value, and hopefully it sinks to rock bottom and we don't see any Zushi players anymore. Uh, we got Mero, DNC, you can read that for yourself, and Tori. Now, I'm not too sure if the Tori nerfs are really going to affect it too much because Tori was already bad at PvP. So, uh, these Tori nerfs really doesn't change its effectiveness in PvP, to be quite honest with you. Probably just means people can't infinite run away and, you know, and heal at the same time. So the Tori nerfs, who really cares? Tori's bad at PvP. Uh, Mera can fly whilst using moves, which is a huge W for Mera. Um, probably moves it up to a fucking god tier, to be honest with you. Um, Tier this video coming probably sometime next week. Okay, so now we have burn damage scaling nerfed. Um, I haven't really noticed because the NPCs in Dungeon do a fuck ton of damage anyways. Um, Golden Staff nerfed, thank the lord, no more infinite combos. And lag on Golden Staff nerfed. Um, Coiler does not stun if targets not on the ground, thank the lord. Um, added end lag to Electro Dash, I haven't seen anyone use it so I don't know if it's true or not. Flash Freeze nerf and try to impale blocks on the first hit. And bleed damage nerf. Now, um, Trident Impale blocking. Oh, sorry, I stretched. I stretched. Trident Impale um, block breaking on hit is actually way better than it was before. So this is a huge W for Trident Impale. What this means is it'll block break, and during the Trident. Um, doing the Trident Impale animation, they take full damage. It's not just the damage uh, at, the, at the end. So, it's a huge W for Trident players. Um, Trident is... I'll make an updated weapon video. But, yeah, no. Um, Trident Impale, big Ws. Big Ws for Trident Impale. Big Ws for Trident overall. Um, infinite combos have been uh demolished um i'm not i haven't tested war combos yet but by the time this video goes up i'll just probably put a clip on the screen um and yeah hopefully things stay the way it is i have been playing in arena but i, ha I don't war combo so i wouldn't know if the thing has you know yeah we'll see we'll see all right, so game mechanic changes. You can now hold F mid combo to block immediately after you've been unstunned. Inventory now shows buffs, which is a nice little update. Um, added auto equipped is very good, actually. If you have Fisherman Karate and you are not a fisherman, it's just going to take you back to default combat, which is really good. Added a new pickup prompt. I'm not going to lie. It makes get um, gathering trees very easy um new sound for magu fist and magu hound which really do sound fucking amazing and there's going to be a new trade update we're going to get update 3.5 now no one really knows what 3.5 update is going to bring will we get a new fruit because we only got one fruit this update which is kind of lackluster the fact we waited two months for one fruit but we'll see we'll see we'll see um we're getting a 3.5 update 4. You can expect it to be in December. Um, or no pun intended. 
and yeah that's basically all the things that have come into this update is there anything else i am missing out on um to summon sea beasts you need to go into rough rough waters that have i don't know the locations anymore because for you has changed them so since the last time i farmed it uh what else Ooh, do, 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 do. i think that's pretty much it if there's anything else oh, i'm so sorry that i yawned like that if there's anything else i'll let you boys know you know i'll keep you updated on everything going on apart from that it's abz signing out love you boys i'm gonna see you in the next one